Brittany from EcoVeganGal.com and I'm here with Citizens for Health at the LA Vegan Beer and Food Festival. We're here to have some amazing plant-based cuisine, have a few drinks, listen to some music, but most importantly, we want to talk with people about high fructose corn syrup and food labeling. Ever since becoming vegan, I constantly do research on new foods and uh, other ingredients and organic versus GMO and stuff like that. Why are you passionate about healthy food? Okay, so I started rawyouth.org, that's like my website, and I started that because of my own health journey, you know. I was seeking out health alternatives, holistic remedies to heal my body. At one point I weighed like 250 plus pounds, just, you know, overweight, yes, like depressed. I was eating the wrong foods, all processed foods, you know, like Reese's peanut butter cups right by my bed, like I was just eating crap, really. How do you feel about high fructose corn syrup? Scary. Scary. I don't, I don't eat it. I don't use it. Actually, I've been really into low glycemic sweeteners lately. Coconut syrup, yacon syrup, and stevia are the three sweeteners that don't trigger an insulin response in the body. It's so like all the other artificial sweeteners out there, like the scary chemical, like Splenda's and all that kind of stuff. Um, it actually still triggers the insulin response in the body, so your body still knows. And so with those insulin spikes like that, over time, that's what causes type 2 diabetes, which is scary. Well, I think it's it's people really getting the knowledge and the wisdom to put the right foods in their body at the right time. For instance, the more we learn about the healing properties of certain herbs or fruits or vegetables, then we know exactly what to give our body in terms of nutrition. You know, I break it down like this. Um, nutrients are really a language and our bodies communicate with those nutrients. So if we're giving our bodies the right thing at the right time, then it's a really easy conversation. Tell us some of your label reading secrets. How do you make it so it doesn't take you forever? Oh my gosh, so if you can't pronounce it, don't eat it. That's the one, number one thing. Yeah, right? I mean, it's so easy. And if there's so many different chemicals, it's just like, I don't know if my body's gonna be able to react well to that. I'm sort of changing the definition of raw to mean unprocessed. Unprocessed. That's phenomenal. Then nobody can sneak in high fructose corn syrup and scary things like that. Preservatives, artificial colors, artificial flavorings. Do you avoid high fructose corn syrup? Absolutely. Yeah, as much as possible. Um, basically, if it has a long, long, extensive, complicated ingredient list, I try to avoid it. Not enough people know about this, so it's all about education. I think a lot of the ADHD on all the children, disorders like that they find, hyperactive, is all associated with high fructose corn syrup. So people need to be educated about foods, and it's in a lot of our foods. It's also genetically modified, so you know most corn is genetically modified in the United States. So it's so important. I think stay away from that, go to your local farmer's market, get organic produce. Instead of using all the syrups, just use fruits. You know, there's dates, bananas to sweeten things with. You don't need to get all the processed foods. So stay away from processed food, go as local as possible, and fresh fruits and vegetables. Oh, I want people to feel their best, right? Like, I want them to avoid getting sick. I want them to feel really good, because I think if people feel good, then they can make better decisions, and they're happier in life, and they might interact with people differently. For me, my, my hope and my vision is to find a way to make this as easy and fun and entertaining to the mainstream as possible. A lot of people are really curious about a plant-based diet. Maybe they're doing meatless Mondays, or they're just starting to experiment with things like quinoa, or brown rice, or tempeh. And my job as an educator and enter entertainer is to really bring veganism to the mainstream, make it really fun, make it easy, give people recipes they can really want to make at home, that they feel excited to make at home and share with their kids, share with their families. So um, I just want to make it as fun and easy and entertaining as possible. Yeah. That's great. <laughs> We can make it now. We'll be rocking and the sun goes down. I believe in a thick of Touching you. 